Hi, my name is Eugene Cap, and this is Cap Design TV. Welcome to the YouTube channel. Today we're going to be talking about Element 3D and how to rig elements together to create animation. Kind of cool, right? Just like this video. I don't know about you guys, but I thought that was pretty cool. So the first thing we're going to do is jump in to After Effects. Now, once you're inside of After Effects, you're going to go ahead and create a new composition. I'm going to keep it at 30 frames, the width 1920 by 1080, and I'm just gonna, 10 seconds. We're not gonna make a very big animation. So, uh, call this rig animation. Once that's created, I'm going to go ahead and go to Layer, New, Solid, grab a solid, call it E3D, and that's where we're going to be putting Element 3D. Once that's completed, we're going to be going to Effects and Presets, go to Video Copilot, grab Element 3D, bring it over, and drop it on. Awesome. Now, we are going to open up the Scene Selection. And we are going to start a new folder and we're going to call it main room. And from there, we're going to bring in a, no, uh, we're going to bring in a plane and I want a big plane. Awesome. And we're going to apply some sort of texture. So I do have pro shaders and let's just go ahead and grab something very basic. Uh, what do I like? Concrete blah. Nice. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and duplicate this model. And from there, I'm going to flip it in. Move it back and duplicate it again. And move it into place. Cool. Now we have an area for our model. Now inside of it, I'm going to open up a new folder. And I'm going to call it model. And we're going to go ahead and create some sort of base for our model. Now I do have the motion design pack and honestly you can use any, any models you want, but this is what I'm going to use. And let's see what we can find as far as uh, tech components. Cool. Just like this mech base. It's not bad. I'm going to move it up just a little. And from there, I'm, I'm going to have some sort of stand. So let's go ahead and grab a hinge of some kind. Perfect. And I'm actually going to this down just a just a little bit and what we want to do is try to make it look like uh, this is something that can actually move around so So what we really want is um, an object that that looks like the rest can can rotate on it. Yeah, we're gonna make this a little bit bigger, but not so big that. Going 
interfere with the rest. Okay, perfect. Okay, from there, uh, we're going to open up a new folder and we're gonna call this joint one. And so now that we have our base, we're gonna go ahead and create a joint. What would make a really good joint? Beams. Cool. Uh, let's go ahead and rotate this beam into place. And we're gonna go ahead and shrink it down a bit. Perfect. But what we want is the joint to be where this is going to be rotating. So what we're going to do is go ahead and grab the, the axis joint and we're going to move it up into place. And we're going to go even change the perspective just so we can really take a look. Actually, the beam looks like it's out of place, so. Here we go, joint right in the center. And that way it's gonna look like it's moving on this. So let's go back to our perspective. And we're going to grab joint one. And we're going to change the auxiliary animation to channel one. Perfect. Now, let's go ahead and grab some sort of uh, blade. All right, I found this kind of blade, this little blade thing that's going to be attached. And what we're gonna do is go ahead and bring in another folder and call it joint two. And we're gonna take this and we're going to move it into joint two and then call, change the auxiliary animation to channel two. Now, we do need to make sure that the second joint is right in place it's where our object is actually right there should be good it is directly center awesome do 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 now if we hit okay it'll save those changes it'll bring us into this room and what we can do is grab group one and we can just bring it down. And I know I'm gonna rotate this just a little. And bring it, change the Z axis a little bit. That went down too much. All right, perfect. Actually, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna flip all of this around. I'm gonna, change, I'm gonna flip the model around. Okay, now that we have our model all put together and the auxiliary channel set, so auxiliary channel number three is the entire model, joint one, is auxiliary channel one and auxiliary channel number two is the blades. 
So what we're going to do is go to element 3D layer that we set up in the timeline earlier. Go to effects, element, open up group one, and then go to auxiliary channels. Now, uh, say we want the arm to go up and down. We're going to go to our ch first channel, open up rotation. I'm going to go ahead and just select, uh, sorry, I have them all selected. We just need channel one Y rotation. And I'm gonna go two seconds in, and I'm going to, oh wait, wrong channel. <laughs> Sorry, my bad. Z rotation, that's what I want. Uh, two seconds in. Let's make some keyframes so it comes down, back and forth. I, n I never want it to go too far where it's not going to look like it's part of the mechanism. And when I get back to 10, I'm going to go back to zero. Now, if we go ahead and play this around, it's going to move on that axis that we set up. Perfect. Okay, uh, say we want the blade to start spinning now. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and open up the second channel, which was our joint. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and hit Y. And if we set up another keyframe and go to say, make it spin three times over 10 seconds, that's fine. Now, if we go ahead and play it back, it's now spinning attached to the arm that we had earlier. Cool. Now, our third channel that we set up was the entire model. So if I drop down channel three and rotation and go ahead and uh, add two key points, it's and then play it back and it's going to uh, rotation Y two times around, uh, one key point or keyframe at the very beginning, one keyframe at the very end, uh, basically making it so the first and last frame are going to be in the exact same position that we had earlier. Now, if I go ahead and play it back, it's all connected. I'm going to uh, turn on motion blur because let it re-render. Takes a little bit longer now. I just thinking that might be too much for my computer to handle. But anyway, uh, there you go. There's uh, there's rigging for Element 3D. Well guys, that's it for this video. I hope you guys learned something. If you did, hit the like button. If you've seen more than one of these videos before, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. It helps me out and it makes sure that you and I are now in a relationship. Anyway, I'm Eugene Cap from the Cap Design TV. I will see you in the next video.